Hey everyone, it is Josh here with HostGator. Today I'm excited to show you an awesome new way to build a website. We're going to be presenting the new Gator Builder, which is a completely redesigned artificial intelligence builder that's here to help you get a website together really quickly. It's fast, it's easy to use, it's intuitive, and I'm really excited to show it to you. As always, if you like the content that we're making, please feel free to subscribe on YouTube and tell us what you think of the videos in the comments below. We're starting out here today on Gator.com, which is the best way to see exactly what Gator Builder can do. If you haven't purchased a package yet, you can go ahead and check out some of the ones we have down here. We've got three different packages and versions available for you to help you get a site together really quickly. If you've already purchased a package, you can click up here on Sign In and click Website Builder. This is where it's going to ask for your email address and password for the Gator Builder. Once you've got that put in, go ahead and click the CAPTCHA, proving you're not a robot, and then click Sign In. The first portion of this site is going to ask you if you want to use the Express or the Traditional Builder. Now the Express option actually uses the artificial intelligence I was talking about earlier to make a site really quickly, so I'm going to show you that today. We're going to click on Go Express. Now this first section is going to help you create your site, it's going to ask you to pick a category. For me today, I'm going to type in Surf because I want to build a site that's about surfing and surfing accessories. Once I've got that put in, you can go ahead and click the one that closely relates to your category. So I'm going to click Surfing, and I'll go ahead and click Continue. Now this is where the artificial intelligence starts to craft a site for you. As you can see here, it's already put together a baseline image of what this site is going to look like. The next thing I need to do is essentially name my site. So I'm going to put in HostGator Surf. Once I've got that put in, you can go ahead and click Continue. You can change this at any time, so no worries if it's just a working title. The next thing it's going to ask you to do is to select your cover image. Now this is the first thing that your customers or visitors are going to see as soon as they hit your website. So you can cycle through some of the ones that are pre-established here. I really like this one that's got the surfboards on it already. Now if you don't see any images here that you like, you can always upload your own. Simply click upload, it's going to pull up a dialog box uh, so you can pull images directly from your computer. I like this one, so I'm going to go ahead and click continue. The next thing it's going to ask is if you want to upload a logo for your site. Now Gator Builder actually comes with a logo maker to help you make a brand new logo for your site. We'll have a video uh, coming out about that next week, but for now we can just go ahead and click continue or you can drag and drop to upload your own. The next option here is going to be to choose the font that you want. You can simply cycle through these until you find a font that you like. I like this one, so we're going to go ahead and click continue. The next option here is going to be choosing your site colors and theme. I like to choose one that matches the images directly, so I'm going to pick a nice green. As you can see, this button down here is going to change. And now if you want to switch back and forth to a light or a dark theme, you can do that up here too. Once you've got that set, you can go ahead and click continue. The next option here is going to be for the top level navigation. So you can essentially cycle through some of these options, and you can see how the navigation section changes. I like this one. Nice rounded edges. We'll go ahead and click continue. Next option here is to put in some information about your company. You can put your street address, your email address, your phone. Once you're done, go ahead and click finish, and it's going to build your site for you right away. And look at that. With just a few clicks, our website has essentially built itself. Now we can start the process of editing this content. The first thing I want to show you is how easy it is to edit text. Any of these boxes that you see highlighted here, we can edit this information. So I want to change this text to say, hello, YouTube. Really that simple, you can edit all of the sections here for the text. Next thing I want to show you is on the left hand side, we'll click on pages. Now by default, there are four pages that are generated. I've got a home, gallery, location, and a contact us section. One thing I do want to show you is that down here at the bottom, if you ever want to create a new page, you can simply click the new page button. You can create any number of pages that you want. Also, if you want to see what your site looks like on mobile, hover up here to the top and click this image that looks like a cell phone. It'll show you exactly what your website is going to look like on mobile. You can toggle it back to the desktop version right here as well. If I click on the contact us, I can see that it changes to that page directly. And here's where I can begin to edit information. Head back to my home section. I'll show you how easy it is to modify or edit the content that you see on the page. Once we click on the page itself, click anywhere in the center to be brought into that page. As you can see here, every single section of this site is broken up into blocks. They're highlighted here in blue. As I click on these blocks, you can see that there's an option here to add a section or to remove this section. Now let's say I wanted to add some content right underneath the bottom here. Let's simply click on add section. And 
on the left hand side you'll see a bunch of pre-formatted boxes already. You can cycle through those and then add a section to your site. If you don't like it, you can go ahead and click the trash can to remove it. As always, if you make changes, there's going to be a undo and a redo button here. You can always save your options up here. A little bit further on the left hand side, we can see that we can change the theme as we did in the earlier builder. I can toggle back and forth between light and dark, change the theme color, fonts, and effects. We'll have videos coming out in the future about the settings, store, and blog and booking information, but for now I wanted to show you how to get your site live really quickly. I'll head back to the pages section here. Once you've got it to a place where you know you want to publish it, simply click up here in the top right hand corner and click publish. Now we can take one to two minutes here to publish your site directly. As soon as you see it live, we'll be able to visit that site and see exactly how it looks. And there we go. The site is officially live on a temporary URL. I can click right here to see what that site looks like. Look at that. In just a few minutes, I've got a brand new site already working. Now that you've got your site live on a temporary URL, the next thing I'm going to do is show you how to connect it to a domain that you already have. Aside from being easy to use, one of the best things about Gator Builder is that it comes with a free domain no matter what package you buy. Now as we can see, our site is currently live on a temporary URL, so we want to connect that to the domain that we purchased during signup. I'm going to head back to the Gator Builder tab, click the X out of here for the site is live, and I'm going to click on the home button in the top left hand corner. Now this takes us to the main page for Gator Builder. As we can see, we've got our published site here. I can edit it if I want to. I can also click this option down here if I want to unpublish it or delete it. What I want to do is click on the domain section over here on the left. And I can see here that I've got the domain that I've got when I actually purchased this package. It's GatorBoySurf.com. And I can see that it's not currently assigned to any site. I want to change that so that the content that I just built is on that domain. I'm going to click the arrow here on the right hand side. It's going to take me to the domain settings. I can manage the DNS manually if I want to here, but what I want to do is click on this not assigned box, and I'm going to click on the site that I just built, which is HostGator Surf. Once I've got that set, it's going to change the DNS to point directly to that domain. So now anyone who visits my site Gator Boy Surf will essentially see the site that I just built in Gator Builder. Now it can take about 24 to 48 hours for propagation to take effect, which is essentially the time it takes for the, all of the internet to see the changes that we made to this DNS. But once that's done, anyone who visits GatorBoySurf.com is going to see that site that I just built. Click back here to the domain section. As we can see now, it's completely assigned to the HostGator Surf site that I just built. You can check out the domain expiration here, whether or not the SSL is active, and if the status is verified and domain privacy is enabled as well. And that's essentially it for Gator Builder. I hope you found this helpful. I really love this builder as it's one of the fastest ways to get a new website online. As always, if you like the content that we're making, please feel free to give it a like on YouTube. Let us know in the comments what you think and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks, y'all.